so if we're asked to f here I can make this bigger if we're asked to find the surface area revolved around the x-axis we can use the first defined integral here but for this problem we're asked to find the surface area revolved around the y-axis <clears throat> so we'll want to use this formula here so we're integrating it says from negative 3 to negative 2 and it's 2 pi and g of y just means your function of y which is right here And then we multiply that by the square root of 1 plus the derivative of g of y squared. So the derivative would be negative 3y squared over 4. And we need to square that derivative according to the formula. So there's our derivative. Still need to square it. You might be able to type it in like that, and Newton, and Newton might say that's okay, but let's clean it up a little bit algebraically. So 2 and 4 can cross simplify, so I've got negative, and I can factor out the pi. I don't know if Newton wants you to factor out the pi, though. So let's keep it like this. And then inside the radical, it's 1 plus all this stuff squared. That's going to be 9, because negative 3 squared is positive 9, y to the 4th over 16. I think that's it. Let me just double check that it will accept this. 